In the unforgiving heart of Russia's Ural Mountains, a chilling tale has been imprinted into the snow and ice, the Dyatlov Pass incident. January 1959. Nine spirited hikers from the Ural Polytechnic Institute, spearheaded by the experienced mountaineer Igor Dyatlov, embark on a journey to the northern Ural Mountains. Their ambition, Otorton Mountain. All seemed well. Days into their journey, they set camp on the ominous slopes of Kolat Syakal, the mountain of the dead in the local Monsi tongue. A name that would soon send chills down many a spine. Days turned into weeks. Their expected return came and went, but the hikers were nowhere to be found. A search party was hastily assembled. The first discovery was their camp. A scene of chaos. The tent, bizarrely slashed open from the inside. Footprints, in various states of undress, led away into the wilderness. The bodies began to surface. Discovered in pockets, some huddled for warmth, others near a cedar tree with charred hands, hinting at a desperate attempt at fire. Autopsies confounded experts. While a few bore the haunting marks of hypothermia, others had suffered internal injuries, such as fractured bones. Jarringly, their exterior showed no signs of struggle. One hiker's tongue was eerily missing. Then came another shocker. Elevated levels of radiation were detected on their clothes. The swirling vortex of theories began. Theories ranged from the conventional to the outlandish. Some proposed an avalanche had caught them off guard. But then, why would experienced mountaineers camp in the path of one? Others suggested a phenomenon called infrasound, caused by wind patterns, which can induce panic attacks. Could this have driven them to madness? Some pointed fingers at secret Soviet military tests. Were the hikers just unfortunate witnesses to something they shouldn't have seen? Maybe this explained the radiation? Local Monsi tribe encounters? Yeti attacks? Extraterrestrial interventions? The theories are numerous, each as perplexing as the last. Recent investigations have leaned towards the snow slab theory, suggesting a particular kind of avalanche might have been the culprit. Yet, gaps and questions remain. The Dyatlov Pass incident remains a chilling conundrum, an intricate puzzle where pieces continuously elude completion. As we journey deeper into this enigma, we ask, what do you believe transpired that fateful night on the mountain of the dead? Delve into the discussion. Share your insights, theories, and thoughts in the comments. For more unsolved mysteries and deep dives into the unknown, make sure to like, share, and hit that subscribe button. Journey with us through history's darkest corridors.